So in this video we're going to be making our very own uh, peanut butter sandwich, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, make sure you, that you have a nice cutting board, keep all your surroundings intact next to the kitchen. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is get your fancy paper plate from the drawer and you can go ahead and place that down with a slab of confidence. And then casually you're going to want to put your slice of bread on there because it's kind of the most important part of the sandwich. It's better just to like let it unravel itself. Look, just like magic, it unraveled itself. Next thing you're gonna do is actually go ahead and stick your hand in there. Make sure that you don't get this part of the bread. If you're really one of those people, just place it on there. You're probably gonna need it later. Grab the piece of bread. It's probably intelligent to have two different types of bread. Oh, look at the whole grains. If you like whole grain, good for you. All right, now that we have both of our slices of bread, we're gonna place those on there just like so. Make sure it's in a perfect angle. Everything should be perfect and nice. If your cutting board's in the wrong place, just give it a good love tap and you should see everything go to place. Wow, there you go. It's perfect position. So, it's kind of hard to find peanut butter, so we're going to have to take little baby steps all the way there. And as I slowly march through the dark forest and go down the crinkly cave, we're going to make sure that we can find our crazy monster. Oh, it's a mess in here. So many colors. Oh, what do you know? Tigger stole the peanut butter. It's Peter Pan. Now that you found the culprit, make sure that you give him a nice slap in the face. Oh no, the peanut butter is gone to notice that he hit it right as you slapped him so make sure that you go and grab that now on your adventurous travels you're gonna bring the peanut butter with you make sure it's natural Peter Pan it's also non GMO if you just wanted to know now that we've gotten back to our kitchen station make sure that everything's all fine and dandy over here you got the same exact piece of bread and you got all the whole grains make sure that you place your peanut butter on there a lot of people say that you should probably get spread. If you want to spread it, you can. That's one way to spread. That's how I spread. There's also the Peter Pan way where we can fly, we can fly, we can fly. That's a, another intelligent way to spread your bread. Now it's time to get to the normal way of actually spreading bread. And uh, usually you want to use two hands for this. And uh, see, as you you're supposed to do, you use both of your hands and, uh, you know, yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, it's kind of hard sometimes. Uh, there we go. It's kind of a struggle. Alright, look at that juicy goodness down there. It's kind of hard to see. It almost looks like Nutella. Alright, so now that you got your peanut butter and your bread, you might want to go ahead and grab a nice, uh, some sort of metallic sharp object just like that now one of my fancy helpers decided to go ahead and spread the bread for me we're gonna call him spread surge from now on now spread surge is nicely gonna go ahead and place this bread all over the bread in the best way possible this is the most intelligent way to spread bread or spread on the bread spread with the bread and against the bread and stab the bread and that's how you know you got it in all parts of the bread alright so now that we have all of our peanut butter spread and evenly it obviously looks very very even you want it to look just right anyways now let's get back to the main part so your peanut butter is gone and now you need to get something very very important as in very, very important. So some people actually like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but if you didn't read the video title close enough, you obviously know this is not a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but a peanut butter sandwich. But we need to give recognition to all the jellies of the world. And that's why I got Concord Grape. Concord Grape is an organic product that you can find at Whole Foods. It's also USDA organic approved. Now, we don't want to go ahead and just diss our grape jelly. We want to give it words of love. 
Uh, it's, it's kind of a struggle. There we go. Now that you got the words of love add, added to the grape jelly, you may want to go and slide this over to the side. That's okay. We need to go put this back in the fridge right where you found it. He wants to be back at home. And that's why you place him right here. And we'll put him over there. Alright, now let's get back to our workstation. So magically, as you put the grape jelly away, your workstation should be cleaned up. And you may want to apply the bread just like so. Now a lot of crazy things may have happened when you close the bread. For example, you may have noticed that there's a lot of splotching. You may have noticed explosions. You may have noticed a lot of things. But that's just part of the bread making process. Now, the final part is to enjoy your piece of bread. And I think this is going to be a really good treat for those at home that honestly need a good time with your peanut butter sandwich.